Hi, I'm Rita. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Everett Reading. And welcome to a new reading vlog. I honestly haven't filmed a reading vlog in a while. I've been honestly kind of struggling with my mental health lately. They haven't been like the easiest weeks. Like March hasn't been the best for me, if I'm being quite honest. And so I've been struggling a lot, I haven't been reading a lot, and so it just didn't make sense for me to make a reading vlog. But today I actually feel like I should start a new vlog and I'm feeling ready for it, and so here I am. Today is a Saturday, today it's March 16th already. And I am currently reading Exit West by Hussein Hamid. This is a book that I have been meaning to read for a while now, a little bit. I read the first chapter in January, I really enjoyed it, and I'm trying to get through my um, little TBR that I made for that video. I'm down to only one book now. The only book that I have left is The Book of Goose, and all of the others I have read, and this is one of, the, one of those ones. And I am currently on page 61, and this book is about Nadia and Saeed. And they are in this unnamed country during the start of a civil war, and they're trying to start a relationship, but things are really, really hard. And I think it's going to turn into like this portal fantasy, but not nothing fantastical has happened yet. We are just like in their lives, following them, follow, falling in love with each other. And I'm really enjoying it so far. It is a small book. So I'm actually hopeful that I'll finish it today. I, I would like that. And then we'll see what I read next. I actually have no plans because honestly, every time that I try to do, <laughs> like I'm going to be reading this, this, and this, it never fucking happens. So this, the book that I'm currently reading, and then we'll see what I end up choosing next. This weekend, I'm also doing a lot of like university work. I have a test next week. I have a paper also to submit by the end of the week and I didn't really want to talk about this a lot but I'm actually starting a new internship in this upcoming week because my last one was just a mess and honestly that also brought me a lot of like problems and I, I honestly think it also really affected my mental health and yeah I'm starting a new one I'm much more excited I think it's going to go way better this time but it's just like yeah this upcoming week is going to be a lot but it's actually my last week because the week after that is like a little easter break i'm still going to go to my internship but at least for classes i'm going to be a little bit more relaxed so i'm actually hoping to read a lot in that next week so i'll make i'll be sure to make a vlog for that but yeah, I just thought that I could show you like my weekend and what I'm doing this week and hopefully reading more because I feel like a vlog always motivates me to read a little bit more, you know? So yeah, that's my plan for today. I'm really hopeful that I'll finish Exit West. I have other books to read, but they are for a secret vlog that I actually haven't started, which is a little bit bad. And what else? I also want to reorganize my shelves this weekend, so probably tomorrow, because they're looking a mess. I try to do, like, I have... Maybe I'll just show you. That makes more sense. Maybe I'll just try to show you. But basically, I have, like, three separate shelves. And I have one on the left side that is for my, all of my red books. And the one in the middle is for all of my unread books, so my TBR. And... Like, my TBR, like, I'm okay with how it looks, like, I don't care. But my red books, like, it's looking bad. It's looking really, really bad. I tried to do, like, a color coding thing, but it really didn't work. Like, it really does not work. And I think that I'm going to try to do, like, alphabetical order. I think that will be much better because it is just looking like a mess 
at the moment like i'm even like kind of frightened to show you because like it really is looking like a mess okay so as you can see like i have like three shelves but that doesn't even have any books on it and so this is my tbr shelf which it looks like a mess but i don't really care and this is my red books shelf and just look at that bottom like what is going on there it is just looking horrifying it is looking really really bad and that's my also my little tbr like oh my god everything is just a total mess and i really need to reorganize it because it's looking really terrible at the moment so i really do need to take care of that like that is just looking bad and it's making me feel bad so i feel like i'm going to feel a lot better when i actually get that done with so i'm definitely going to be doing that tomorrow because like i can't i can't do this anymore but in any case, right now, I'm about to go make a smoothie. I've been really into smoothies lately, so I'm going to be making a smoothie. And then I'm going to read a chapter of Exit West, and then I'm going to work for a little bit more because it's still quite early. I still need to catch up on some of the work and studying for Tuesday. And so, yeah, welcome to the vlog, and let's go do all these things. Hello friends, good morning. Today is a Sunday and I want to update you that yesterday I did finish Exit West and I am going to review it and talk to you about it. You've seen me update my reading journal already, so you already know that I ended up giving it this four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. The writing wasn't like my absolute favorite or anything. Sometimes the sentences went on for a little bit too long, which I know is purposeful but it's just not my preference but overall i really enjoyed this story we were following nadia and zahid as their country which remains unnamed enters a civil war and so there are these doors that start appearing that apparently can get people through different sides of the world and so they are heavily guarded by um the military and stuff but Nadia and Zahid managed to find a few of those doors and I thought they were just going to go through once but actually they went through a couple of times like the first time they went to Mykonos to like a refugee camp as well because most of the doors that weren't guarded were to what they call like poorer places or places that weren't like luxury that's why they weren't so guarded and so they ended up in Mykonos and after that they took another door to London um, and then lastly like another door and so we are following them through this journey and as their relationship develops in many different ways not just romantically but yeah we are just following them as like the world as they know it is kind of ending not in like an apocalyptic sense but in a war sense and so they are trying to rebuild what they have known and they stick together but they are turning into slightly different people because of all of what is happening 
and I really enjoy this exploration of what it means to be a migrant, a refugee, the... especially reading this now, this is from... this is quite recent, it's from like 2017, but especially reading this now in 2024 with what is happening again in Palestine, it's just very... a very great exploration even though it is not quite deep, like this book is quite short it's not very... it's not a profound exploration but it's still a good exploration of what it means to be a migrant and a refugee in these days and the troubles of war and of losing your identity and your your safe space and everything that you have known and I love that this author didn't want to make this book like a trauma dump, right? But he also didn't shy away from the horrifying aspects of war. So from time to time there were like some very brief but very explicit and gory descriptions of what happened to certain people and I like that this author didn't really shy away from that. And I don't know, I just I couldn't tell you exactly why it's not a five star, it's not like an all time favorite or anything, but I just really enjoyed it and I understand why people love this book so much and why it's so praised. And I definitely, definitely recommend it to everyone. And yeah, it just feels especially relevant nowadays, which is sad, it's very upsetting. But yeah. I'm really happy that I finally read another book off of my March TBR but especially I'm quite happy that I've read a book from my physical TBR that is really exciting um, I've only read two books in March like I DNF'd one of them so I've read technically three like I DNF'd one and I read two so it's not going very well for me but today I still need to study I still need to work on my paper that I told you about and also I forgot to mention yesterday but I'm still reading another book. I'm still reading The Fucking Tin Drum by Gunter Grass. Like, it's bad for me. Like, I'm literally 50% in. And I I really don't want to read this, but I really have to. But I just, I really don't want to. I'm not really enjoying this book. It's very exhausting to read. Like, each time that I read a chapter, I feel like I need, like, an hour to, I don't know, just, like, decompress. I don't like this. But yeah, my plans for today are to keep studying, to keep working on my paper. I also need to reorganize my shelves, which I'm going to do after lunch because right now I'm just not in the mood for it. And then I'll have to pick another book to start, which I don't know which one it'll be because... Yeah, all the other books that I had to read on my HDR were for my secret vlog, which I didn't really want to include in this vlog. So I need to figure that out, but... Yeah, what's important is that I already finished the book and I'm really happy about that and it was a good one. Friends, it's time to reorganize the shelves. I'm going to speed up my taking all the books out, dusting my shelves and then putting the books back in. I'm not going to film the whole process, I'm not going to talk through the whole process. I'm just going to try to make this as efficient as possible because I still need to study, like this is my study break and so we're just going to try to make this as efficient as possible I have now taken everything out of my shelves as you can see we just have a darkness behind us and how I'm going to organize it this time is I'm going to do it by like alphabetical order by last name 
so I'm hopeful that that will work because I just my color coding was just not working the rainbow shelves were not doing it for me so we are going to try to organize it in another way and we'll see how that goes So this is how it's looking so far but I'm not really happy with it because I feel like my favorite series should have like a horizontal stack I usually love doing that for example like my Nevermore series are all the way down here now which I don't like because they're like a favorite series so I feel like I'm still I still need to reorganize this but yeah so far this is how it's looking also, this is like a duplicate series that my friend Bia lent me, so I'm going to give it back. So this space is like temporary, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like it's not looking exactly how I wanted it to, but I think that I'm going to try and fix it now, but I'm not going to film it because I've been filming for it forever, <laughs> and you're probably already tired of seeing that. So I'll show you the final results when I am done with it. Okay friends, so now this is the final result that I have for now. I put the Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter there as one of my favorite series. That one is not in chronological order, we don't talk about that one. But I want it to be in the middle because it's cute. And then lastly, all of the other books. Because when I filmed my last update, I forgot that I had a couple of books to still put in. It's not perfect, but it's just what it is at the moment, you know? So this is how it's going to stay. And then we have the chaotic TBR shelf over there. So it's not perfect, but it's cute enough. Hello friends, I hope that you are having a good day. Today is Monday and my hair is again looking quite crazy because I washed it this morning and it's still wet so it's doing all kinds of things. 
I'm trying to grow it out and grow my bangs out and it's just a mess but we have to deal with it so like I mentioned today's Monday tomorrow is my test tomorrow is going to be a really busy day at university and I am really worried about this test so I'm actually going to stay home all afternoon to study I had a class but I'm going to miss it but I do want to tell you that I am so sorry I didn't give you an update yesterday um, I hang out with my boyfriend and we watched a movie but before that I actually started reading a novella called Small Things Like This by Claire Keegan I had it on my Kindle and it was actually on my February TBR and I never got around to it and I was just thinking about what book I should read because I'm only probably going to be filming until tomorrow so I was thinking like what should I read and I remembered that I had this novella and I actually ended up just reading it I read it a little bit yesterday and then this morning I finished it and I really enjoyed it small things like this is about it's set in the 80s in Ireland and it's about this man called Bill and he's a um, lorry driver which is like a truck like a really big truck and he delivers coal and wood and he has five daughters and actually he was brought up by this rich woman because his mother was only a teenager when she had him and he never knew who his father was and so he was brought up by this rich woman in whose house um, his mother worked and basically this is a novella about the Magdalene laundries that existed in Ireland all in the 19th and then well into the 20th century the last one only closed in 1996 which is absurdly recent and this was not my first introduction to the Magdalene laundries and the sinister uh, movement that happened in the convents of Ireland because when I was in high school, like secondary school, my English teacher once made us watch a, a film called The Magdalene Sisters. And oh my God, it was like a horror movie. Like it really traumatized me, mostly because it is based on true events, on this horrifying things that happened to these girls, like girls all over Ireland, our Ireland that were brought in for just insane things, for extra marital sex, for rape as well and yeah like countless of them died, countless babies that they had were either adopted without their consent or um, they also died there it's just a very sinister thing that happened and that the government tried to rep repress well into the 21st century and so that movie really really traumatized me so i never forgot about this thing that happened in ireland but yeah just reading this novella like it was sad but i'm not going to say that it was as horrifying for example as this movie like that movie i really do not recommend because it is really really traumatizing but this was more of like a, a novella like just set in that world and about empathy and about hope and about what normal people outside of the convents can do and i really really enjoyed it it was also about like the catholic hypocrisy of love thy neighbor and love those close to you and then just like completely mistreating all of these girls and how much they suffered at the hands of these nuns and it was really really interesting i really enjoyed it the writing was really great it was my first claire keegan but i do want to read her other novellas and i'm not gonna say that i had a good time but i had a good time as a reader and i really enjoyed reading it and if it sounds interesting to you you definitely should if you don't know about this you can also google it make a little search about it because it was a really really horrifying thing that happened and there are just so many girls out there that are 
still very much alive and young that went through this and it's really really sad like the last one closed in 1986 like it wasn't even 30 years ago so a lot of these girls are still out there and it's just yeah it's very very recent and it's just so upsetting in general but i did want to give you that update you saw me update my reading journal because i love doing that and i love vlogging that even though it is a bit repetitive i'm sorry but even though it was a novella We've already finished the books in this vlog, which I feel like it's good. Um, now I'm going to study for a while. I also need to read a couple of chapters of The Tin Drum because like it's bad for me. I, I really need to get to that. And I don't know, I'm probably going to start another book before we end the vlog. But I wanted to update you that I have read another one and one of my TBRs for this year. My February TBR, which is great. And now I'm just going to study and I'll see you in a little bit. currently in bed i am ready to go to sleep but i still i'm going to read one more chapter of the tin drum because if i read this chapter i'll be on page 404 and i'll have read more or less 50 pages today which is not great but it's what i managed like my test tomorrow is kind of worrying me so i want to go to bed earlier so yeah i'm going to read one more chapter of this gigantic book and then I will probably go to sleep. I also, wait, let me go get it. I also thought that I'm going to start Tome Sweeping by Alexander Chang. This is a book that I bought in New York because I absolutely adore this cover. And it's quite a short one. It's short stories about the immigrant experience, about um, Asians and Asian American experience. And so, I really want to start this even though that I bought it when it had just released and so far the reviews haven't been great it has a very low rating but I do love a short story moment so I'm hopeful that I'll enjoy it more than other people so my plan is to read one more chapter of this and if that goes well maybe I'll start tome sweeping and I'll read the first story um we'll see We'll see how I feel because I'm quite tired. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to be reading The Tin Drum. Hello friends, it is Wednesday. I didn't update you yesterday because it was very chaotic. I was very tired. I think my test went well. We'll see. But I wanted to update you that I did start tomb sweeping yesterday night. I read only the first two short stories, which amounts to less than 30 pages. So I'm really not that far into it. But I think I really enjoyed the first short story. It was called Unknown by Unknown. And I don't usually rate the short stories individually, but I know that a lot of people do. And I think that I might, I might start that with this one because I own it physically so I can actually write down my rating of it. But it was a fine story. I enjoyed it. And the second one was really short. It was called Lethan. And it was about this woman and about like her as a woman in the US as an immigrant. And it was really well told because it was told backwards from like the moment that she passed passed away to like a moment really early on in her life and i thought that that was a really great way to tell the story and it was so short but it was actually really really impactful and uh, so i really enjoyed that one 
and yeah i went to keep reading this today i have just come back from my first morning at my new internship which went really well way better than my last experience and then i had a class so now i'm back at home and i have a full day tomorrow i have a full day on friday so it's not really looking good for me in terms of getting this video done edited and uploaded but i do want to read at least a good chunk of this book today and I'll tell you all my thoughts about it. I think that right now I'm actually going to be making waffles because I really feel like having waffles. And the last ones that I did didn't turn out that great. So I think that I want to try and upgrade it this time, see if it goes well, see if it goes better. And then I also have to do like a project for school. I have to get a little work done, but it's like mostly an hour. Like I'm going to give myself an hour to do it and I have until the rest of the day, so I'm not really worried. So I think that we're going to go make waffles and then we are going to read a couple more chapters, not chapters, stories of tomb sweeping. Hello friends, I'm here to give you the last update for this vlog, to wrap this up. Honestly, it has been an obscene amount of time since I actually finished the book um, that I was reading, which is Tomb Sweeping by Alexander Chang. This was alright. I feel like overall I have positive thoughts about it, but when I summed up all the ratings that I had given each story, it actually wound up being like a 3, like a 3.1, 3.2, so that's what I ended up giving it overall. So there were a lot of stories that I liked, but almost none that I loved, if that makes sense. The only one that I gave 5 stars was the second one that I had already mentioned, Lee Fun. And then I gave 1, 2, 3 stories, 4 stars. Um, to Get Rich is Glorious, A Visit, and Persona Development. Honestly, what all of these had in common, especially A Visit and Persona Development, was the themes of family and nostalgia and just like missing your parents and the parent-child relationship. And I don't know, they just really got to me. Then most of the stories were like 3, 3.5, and then there were some that I didn't like. Um, I ended up giving... For example, here, I ended up giving one of the stories two and a half stars, then I ended up giving like three in a row of like two stars because I didn't really understand them. I didn't really understand what the theme was, what the purpose was, so flies, she will be a swimmer, phenotype, and me and my algo. I ended up giving all of those two stars and then one of the last stories, Cat Personalities, I also ended up giving two stars and it was just, yeah, overall, like if I look back, I feel like I had some positive feelings about this book, but it was like a 3.1, which is not great. So I'm a little bit sad that this wasn't a total win for me, but where, rarely is a short story collection. I feel like it's really hard to love every single story. One of, one of the only ones that I recall absolutely loving almost all of them was The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Tisha Filwa and other than that it's really hard to love every single story in a short story collection but I'm glad that I own this I don't think I'll be unhauling it anytime soon um because maybe I'll just lend it to a friend or something so I'm not going to get rid, rid of it but it wasn't like an absolute favorite but let's talk about also just like to wrap you up um the last books that i read as well i read exit west by mosin hamid which i ended up giving like a really strong four star i really enjoyed this book and i also gave a very strong four star to small things like this by claire keegan which i read on my kindle 
and I also really love that one so I feel like overall it was a positive reading vlog like first of all I got two books off my physical TBR which a win is a win is a win okay and uh, yeah two of them I really really enjoyed and one of them I kind of enjoyed so it was a good time overall Honestly, looking back at this vlog when I was editing, it feels very boring, so I'm sorry if it feels boring to you. I've, I was actually like contemplating wh whether or not to upload this vlog at all, because it feels just like very scattered, but I had a couple of rough weeks, and yeah, it, was, it, it, it just has been a time, you know, like as I'm wrapping up my degree, and starting my internship and starting my like report it's just like it's it's a there's a lot going on so in the next month things will probably be a little bit complicated and i might not be as consistent or as present but i am absolutely doing my best okay just know that and i have a lot of fun things planned i just don't know when they'll come to fruition but you can expect more, perhaps more exciting reading vlogs from me soon. In any case, I hope that you did enjoy this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a nice day and always remember that life is worth reading.